Okay, this is a demonstration of a really cheap vibration generator setup that I've made. Um, it's very much prototype phase, but it's unbelievably cheap. So the thing you're looking at at the moment is an amplifier that I got off eBay for about, I don't know, three quid or something like that. Um, so I'm going to be powering that from this battery pack, which has been borrowed from one of our telescopes, um, which has just got a little connector that's going to plug into it. I've got my phone with a free signal generator app that at the moment let's turn up the frequency so you can hear it there it goes horrendously loud so that's going to be my signal generator so that's a free app I'm just going to plug this cable into it so a headphone jack cable to go from the phone to the amplifier the amplifier then drives a little solenoid uh, which are unbelievably cheap. This one was about 20p. I got five of them for a pound on eBay. Um, they're tiny little solenoids. Um, and this one's taped together because they've got a little spring that's easy to lose. Um, what I've done with that is I've ripped this iron off around the outside just to leave basically um, just a coil with an air core. Um, the iron core, which is here, I'm going to shove on top of a neodymium magnet which is on the table. So when you put it all together basically you've got a dirt cheap vibration generator that does stuff like um, vibrating a string to see standing waves. So if I plug it all together, I don't know how I'm going to do it with one hand but we'll see. So I'll chuck the power in to the amplifier, there we go, lights come on. I'll plug the headphone jack cable into my phone and uh, away we go chuck that on top of there now the phone's actually running at 141 hertz which is a bit much so let's turn that down you might be able to hear that though I'm now down at 100 hertz here we go so this is 37 hertz <clears throat> and you can see it's vibrating up and down nicely and you can set the frequency with this focus. Yeah, not bad. You can set the frequency either with a slider or by actually just typing in the frequency you want. So if I want 20 hertz, I imagine 20 hertz is the minimum because it's set up for audio. So that's apparently 20 hertz. I don't think it actually changed. Let me click out of that box. There we go. It actually changed to 20 hertz now. So that's 20 hertz. And this has got, either you can control the amplitude on the amplifier itself or with your phone, just by changing the phone volume. There we go, that's quite extreme. So, it's a bit rough and ready and at the moment obviously it's made from a load of parts that, you know, just fall to pieces and, and aren't really stuck together in any meaningful way. But it is absolutely dirt cheap compared with buying a signal generator um, which has the power to drive a vibration generator and then buying a vibration generator and then buying a class set all the components of this probably come in if you discount having your own phone which your students will all have as well um, you know it's less than a tenner for the whole setup um, and I've tried it I haven't unfortunately got the standing wave uh, practical setup and I'm not going to set it up just for this video but it works perfectly fine I actually had it set up with the um, with the coil stationary and the um, the magnet stuck onto the the iron core um, oscillating. It works either way around. This just gives you a bit <clears throat> of a bigger oscillation. So anyway, uh, just to show you that it can work, you can want to use one of these cheap amplifiers to mo to drive a vibration generator, but you might just have to make your own vibration generator out of dirt cheap components.